Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Subnautica Blind Let's Play here on YouTube. It's episode number five, and I gotta get right down to it, because at the end of the last episode, we received a radio distress call from Ozzy. Scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Small cave network sounds terrifying. Uh, I don't like the sound of that at all. Uh, we discovered that Ozzy from the cafeteria is stranded down here and being attacked by something and there's a cave system oh my fucking god that is a being that is alive and uh a uh, functioning organism oh it makes noise no 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 Ozzy or that? Ozzy or that? Ozzy or that? Oh my god, no. I don't like that at all. How did I not see this at the end of the last episode? Oh, Ozzy, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, you're being attacked by something and I really, I literally don't have anything to, to help you. Um, you're fucking dead. Of course you are. Oh no. Abandon PDA. If somebody attacks me in here, I swear to god. Do you have any, like, storage or anything? No? Okay, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go, 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 go. I have so much oxygen. I'm actually truly fine on oxygen. There's the cave system. Okay. What the fuck is that? I honestly don't even care about this data pad in, in data bank entry. I do, but also, like... Oh, I just noticed this is 17 and three. So there were at least 17 life pods. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. Yeah, I hear you. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. <laughs> what? I don't know why no one's coming for me. Ozzy, you're fucked. You're dead at this point, actually. You're in some... You're in probably, if I had to guess... Oh, Jesus. That thing's stomach. Like, if I had to guess. It's coming for me, by the way. Um, Ozzy, you are fully... I grieve you, and I'll speak at your funeral. I promise you. But you are dead. There's no chance you're not. Um... In more important news, question mark. Uh, in more important news, there's a big fucker. And he makes big fucker noises. I was really gonna try and avoid uh, cursing too much on this uh, on this series, but there's no chance in hell that that's gonna happen. Oh, there's two of them. They're tentacruels. They're they're a hundred to God, a hundred percent. Swear to God, they're a hundred to God. <laughs> 100% swear to god, that's just the Pokemon Tentacruel, for sure. I have to scan it. I absolutely- I'm gonna put the Sea Glide away, honestly. In the hopes that I can be quiet. Shh. Fucking shit, that makes me shiver. We're being very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. You are a floating piece of earth. I'm gonna reef back. It's literally what it is. Tell me you're peaceful. Tell me you're peaceful. Scan, you son of a bitch. Scan. Run, 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 run. Uh, wait, I hit tab. Oh. I need to, I need to go to this service or else I'm gonna die. Um, you just hit tab when it pops up. Okay. Reefback Leviathan. I told you, son of a bitch. Leviathan. Ugh. This vast life form is in excess of 30 meters long. Designated Leviathan class. Fortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton like life forms. Thank fucking Christ. Uh, a chitinous shell. Most of the life form's top side and some of its underside is protected by a thick, layered, thick with two C's, layered exoskeleton. This suggests an evolutionary path quite different from other organisms on this planet. Uh, most of which are vertebrate in, vertebrate in nature. The reefback species grows very large. Enzyme pods 
Like the Gazapod, sure, sure. Organs on the reef backs underside serve some unknown purpose. Um, local microcosm, an array of different barnacle and plant species, grow on the shell, thrusting their roots into ancient scars in the chitin, taking advantage of their mobility to avoid predation. Great. Uh, harbors plants, small fish, and metal-rich barnacles? Oh, I didn't read that. Wait, barnacles? Reefbacks' life systems likely extend through many centuries should they survive their initial growth cycle. Interesting. They so they're sociable and they travel in pods. And they they they're whales. They're whales that are also tentacruels. All right, we're gonna. It's getting darker. Is it getting darker? Is the sun going down? It seems dark. Is it behind a cloud? It's an eclipse. Total eclipse of the heart. Okay, we're gonna go on one's back and we're gonna see if we can find anything i have a problem a personal problem with being too with i speak too fast right i speak far too quickly a lot of times Ro rouge rouge cradle uh i speak too quickly a lot of the time it, in my life an acid mushroom another rouge cradle and uh Nothing makes that more obvious than this game. A break barnacle? Can I scan barnacle? No. I got something there. Can I break you? <gasps> what? What was that? What the fuck was that? I saw red around my face. I keep accidentally jumping out of the water. Sorry. Uh... What was that? Did I take damage? I did. <sighs> Fucking shit. Let's learn what Rogue Barnacle does at least. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, all right, all right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I'm just gonna keep telling myself we're fine. A complex cave dwelling flora specimen. Bright yellow core, this plant is protected by a rigid cage, presumably to warn off medium sized herbivores. I'm a medium sized. Oh look, it says threat level on the upper right. Green. Um Alright. What attacked me there? Oh, I need to get oxygen. I think I'm gonna go again and see what if I can figure out what it was. Yo, I think water came out of this thing. Yeah. A brain coral. I don't know. I mean, maybe not water, but like. God, that sound is so fucking terrifying. Uh, okay. So there's something to be read there, but first. Also, what are you? Why are you? Why are you spinning like that? What are you? A tiger plant. <laughs> Stop that. I don't like that. What did that? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Tiger plant. I need to I need to scan you without getting attacked. Oh, you have spiky bits on the end. Oh, you're shooting poison darts at me. Or some shit. You little bitch. I will chop you to pieces. I don't have a knife yet, but when I do, uh you're gonna get uh you're gonna get killed. You're the first thing that's going down. Alright, we go for the surface. We go for the surface. Alright, so at least we figured it out, right? At least we figured it out. Uh, a tiger plant. This plant has adapted to sense fluctuations in the water at up to 15 meters and is capable both of prehensile movement of its tubes. It's a terrifying tentacle. Terrifying tentacle. Uh, as well as the propelling of thorns at speeds of up to 10 meters per second. Assessment. Avoid or incapacitate. Cool. Great. Um... Now, where's the other thing? There was something else that I... Brain coral, right? Brain coral. Permanent growing colony of microscopic organisms. This coral species is adapted to filter carbon dioxide from the environment, using carbon to build the colony, expelling oxygen from specialized exhaust funnels. It's quite handy, suggesting samples from a mature specimen. Specimen could be grown artificially. Air tanks are equipped to siphon oxygen from the water where possible.
I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, let's do a self-scan, because we haven't done one in ages. I'm infected. Okay. Well, how do I solve that? Great. I love it. Let's go back to our, our place and uh, start uh, uh, praying that we... I started thinking about how we want to make it through the night. Oh shit, it's a long way over there too. Oh! That sounded like a, uh... It sounded like one of the big boys. Oh. Okay, I am getting more comfortable in the ocean, but I'm not comfortable here at night. I just keep looking down and behind me because I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that something is coming for me. So, how am I feeling? What are we, what are we, what are we learning? Um, a couple things. Ozzy, uh... Ozzy's dead, but I'm trying to, I'm still trying to decipher his message. The specific part about, uh, uh, it's in here. The specific part about the Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate, mobile vehicle bays, etc. I think what he's saying there in that last paragraph is simply my life has changed so much. I can't process it. Like, I was living in a world with a 0G sim and a gym, 0G sim, 0G gym, and a cinema and a cafe, and now I'm living inside of a life pod and no one is coming for me. I think that's what that means. I can't tell if there was something more there, like some kind of hint to me about how to live here. But, um, the other thing I'm thinking is, uh, we should eat one of these, probably. Um... Oh, it's getting old now. Shit. Fuck. Well, shit. I'll just eat it. Fuck it. Um. Shit, what did I do there? Uh-oh. F1? Oh, it was F1. Oops. Sorry. I keep fat fingering the buttons. Uh, the other thing I was thinking, I think we have to get a knife and I think we have to go back to that area. Something was attacking him and he had a cave system there. Uh, so I think a knife is the only, uh, is the only, <laughs> I keep hitting escape, weapon I've seen so far. Pipe, floating air pump, fire extinguisher. I have a fire extinguisher, I guess. That's sort of a weapon. Not really at all. Tool, survival knife. I can make one. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I'll put that in my person Weapons instead of a... ...from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is dark. Uh, okay. We'll put that like, uh... Actually, we'll put it on one. Put you on four. And you on five. Okay. Um, I would really like to get this, uh, the other thing that I really need is a radiation suit. Fiber mesh, though, and lead. I don't know how to make lead. Ah, oh, man. We definitely have to work for that, right? We definitely gotta work towards that. Holy shit, we're 14 minutes in already. Alright, um... We have a cooked boomerang, which I probably should have waited to cook. Let's do an experiment right now. We're at 102 food. If I eat it... Fuck. You can't go above 100. Uh, by that much, apparently. Or if you're already above 100, you can't go more above 100. It's probably more like it. Okay. Well. I have so many questions. My next question is how do I charge this thing? Uh, because I... I'm gonna need to. Hmm. Alright, well, 
You know what? It's probably somewhere in here. Uh, it's probably somewhere in equipment or something, right? Or... There's no way once it hits zero that I'm stuck with it, right? I don't know. Is it daytime yet? It is. Okay. So, I have a knife. It looks like a little Valorant knife. <laughs> it looks like a little, like, Valorant, uh... Oh, there's the buddy. Hey, can I hit you? No, I cannot. Oh, I haven't scanned one yet. There's a little icon that came up that said I hadn't scanned it yet. Okay. You want me to just catch one? Oh, man. I'm getting to the point where, uh... In the best way, I'm getting a little overwhelmed with what to do next, you know? Uh... You know what? Fuck it. We have a knife. We have a sea glide. I'm going straight down for these fuckers. Come for me. We have to face our fears here. I think that's the thing that fucked me up. Yep. Come for me. I'll stab you. I'll stab you. I can't stab you. I can't stab you. Fuck off. Did I kill you? I'll do it again. I swear to God. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Uh, that's not great, honestly. I'm taking some damage. Um, what do they do? I should scan it. Sulfur plant? 30 seconds. Quartz? Uh, there's another one over there. Okay. I took a lot of damage there. <laughs> that was probably very dumb. Uh, that didn't go nearly as well as I thought it would. Did I kill it at least? I didn't, I, I can't tell if I killed it. Great. Well, shit. <laughs> Somehow we already need more bladder fish, too. Uh, wait, hold up. Did I get it? Flora. Um, I didn't. It was a sulfur plant. What do you mean? I didn't scan it? No. It was here, right? It was right here. It's right there. No? Oh, no. Pick up cave sulfur? Why is it not letting me... Come on. Might be a little bit buggy. I can't tell. I'm so nervous of going any closer. 30 seconds. <sighs> Shuttle bug? Can I scan you from here? Alright, we'll get out. We'll get out. We'll get out. I don't know if that guy's bad or good. I think I... have to find a way to scan that while it's not yet attacking. If that makes sense. Shuttle bug. Common scavenger at the base of the food chain. Uh, it's not really a threat to most organisms. It feeds on the waste products of the ecosystem around it. Got three mandibles, three legs. Okay. Necessary waste recycler presence may indicate nearby cave systems. We do have caves underneath us. You're right. Okay. I mean, I guess we just keep going, right? I got to find out what this sul sulfur plant is about. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Plants appear to serve as nests for the explosive organisms which guard them. Outer petals are undamaged by the presence of inhabiting creature. Uh, plant evolved to feed on nutrients and minerals deposited by the fish. There's so much, like, uh, of that. Like, coexistence and, uh... Um... Okay, okay, okay. Sulfur has... Yeah, it's used for the thing. Great. Pick up quartz. 30 seconds of oxygen. I think y'all are chill with me. Creature egg, I probably don't need that at all. Cave system, cave system, I mean. Uh, I think that is a brain. Yeah, we're learning. That's just a brain thing. All right, oxygen. Go, 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 go. We're learning, okay. I should probably, while it is light time, while it is light time, god damn it. 
what is uh, i don't know that's a that's a new thing for me i've never said that before today and i've said it twice in the last couple episodes uh we should catch uh bladderfish and peeper uh probably just bladderfish actually good thing there's a couple of them right here i don't actually need my knife out um bladderfish Big, oh, hi, buddy. Uh, big hole. Okay. Um, I didn't see anything that didn't look familiar. Does that make sense? A couple bladder fish, and then I think we should probably go back for that area. What are you? Hold up. Oh, I keep forgetting I have a sea glide. Hover fish. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. We don't want to get any closer to the big boys. One's right there. A sandstone chunk. 15 seconds of oxygen. It's time to go, buddy. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. At least I can surface pretty quickly. All right. We're learning slowly but surely. What is sandstone good for? Small amounts of precious metals. Lead, silver, and gold. That's great. This is what we need. We need silver and we need lead for radiation suits and for... Uh, we needed lead for some or we needed silver for something okay so sandstone is very valuable hoverfish they have foot pads very cool uh ionizing the surrounding water and it is edible okay sure uh we got the music going let's grab a couple more bladderfish if we can wait okay so sandstone was right here um, I'm 90 meters away. I think I'm on the other side of the cave system, technically. Metal salvage. Oh, buddy. Oh, I think he just killed one. I'm not going to go over to you. Okay, so sandstone, sandstone. Sandstone and or bladderfish. Um, ah, sandstone. Oh, that's limestone. Fuck me sideways. Ah, sandstone looked very brown, but I can't tell the difference. 20 seconds of oxygen. I'm going, I'm going. I'm just getting less scared to look around a little bit too. Where's the sandstone at? Okay, let's take a quick look. We have a sea glide. Let's take a quick look and make sure that... Veined nettle. Nettle is generally a uh, slightly... It can cause you pain, right? Nettle? Limestone, fuck. The little guys, sure. Nettle is like a little... It's got little... Limestone, limestone... So I think these will all be limestone. Oh my god, that is dark and I have 20 seconds of oxygen. Fuck me sideways. Nope. Sea glide. Yo, we got some major air there. Very cool. Oh, there's so much to learn. Common shallow water plant frequently shows shines of signs of predation around the edge of the leaves. Okay. I think nettle in the real world is like uh, slightly thorny. Um, let's take this water. We have some bladder fish for the future. Sun is, I think, on the way down. I think we go back there, except we do it tomorrow. Oh man, I really wanted to get there today, but uh, I think we, if I can keep an eye out for sandstone, I can make a couple really cool items. And I think I was really close to it. Do you think these are? Sandstone? Limestone, fuck. Oh my god, that is dark. Oh, buddy, no way. I don't know what I did to... find the sandstone, and now I'm worried that I'm like... Wait, sea glide fragment. I already did that. Okay, cool. Yeah? 
I already have sea glide. Now I'm worried I'll never be able to find the, uh... 30 seconds. Shit. The, uh... Sandstone again. I was, like, on the edge of the creep vine clusters, I think. Oxygen. We go back down. Hmm. I'm gonna need this... <gasps> Limestone. Fuck! Did the entry for sandstone say anything about how we can find it? I don't think so? Hmm. Uh, sandstone outcrops. Small amounts of precious metals. And that's all it says. It says common, and then it says unusual, as in, like, rare. And I feel like this game is mocking me, because I found 60 million of these ones, and one of these. Oh, I have a radio message. Shit. Uh, I'll go back in just a second. I'm going to use the remaining daylight uh, real quick to search. And then I'm going to go read this radio message. Uh, am I just not deep enough? I'm probably just not deep enough. That's what she said. What are you? Two? Hootfish? I think I've already scanned a hootfish, right? Nope. Limestone? Limestone. Uh, sandstone. Sandstone? Salt. I'm definitely deeper. Oh, shit. <gasps> is he carrying a piece of the mi- That guy is carrying- Okay. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I should really be safe here. He is carrying a piece of the ship away. What is that? What are you? What are you? Go, 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 go. Oh, we're deep. Oh, we made it. Okay. With so much time to spare. Truly so much time to spare. It didn't feel like it. All right, we got a lot of new things to learn. Let's read the... Let's go back for the uh, for the thing, actually. Drooping Stinger is deep. It glows. Um, follicles along the tentacles are capable of detecting contact with foreign bodies, and they zap them. Avoid these? I'll get electrocuted, for sure. Great, love that. I love a, I love a good electrocuting plant in the sea. Hoopfish have a very unique method of propulsion. Uh, let's see. They alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into the low density space created. I wonder if there's a real life inspiration for hoop fish. Their behavior is more social than it is defensive. They're edible. All right. We're going home. It's been a good episode. I'm going to listen to this uh, radio message. Uh, and then we will call it a day. But uh, we've learned a lot of science today. We've learned a lot of... We've done a lot of scanning. We've learned a lot of science. We've experimented with finding some... How to find sandstone and limestone. Uh, but we honestly found a little bit less success than I would have liked. I remain very confused. On finding sandstone. But that's okay. I like it that way, and we'll find it eventually. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. There's no shot. There's no shot. There's no shot. I read on my PDA on day two of this game that rescue was unlikely. There's no shot. This is the hope that gets dangled. And me looking at it, feeling hope. I, 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 rest, my, I rest my hopes on it. And then it gets yanked away, and I am tossed into the void without a hope for my own survival and a hope for the future. And 
nothing to look forward to except for the dark dark night of many many planet 464b 54b nights in the future thanks so much for watching this episode i really hope you enjoyed it we will be back in the next one uh tomorrow at 3 p.m eastern standard time for more subnautica uh i'm loving this I, as you guys can probably tell by the smiles on my faces and i hope that you are too if you are a like or a positive comment down below helps us out a ton uh just helps any any youtuber you watch um it helps their videos get in front of more people so thanks we'll see you tomorrow Bye bye